Today is my favorite video, I think. It's my top 10 love stories. Um, not ever, but my top 10 love stories. These are love stories that I have watched over and over and over again. Uh, my, my number 10 is Safe Haven. It stars Julianne Huff and Josh Dumel. It's about a woman who moves to a small town and she falls in love with a widower, but she has a dark secret that she's keeping from her past. Gotta watch it to find out what it is. My number nine is the Footloose remake. It stars Julianne Huff again and Kenny Wormald. I think I'm saying that right. It is an amazing remake. They did a really good job. I really like how they stayed true to the original, but what they did was they did a modern day twist and it works really well. It's, it's awesome. The acting is awesome. There's some funny parts. It's got a pretty good soundtrack. It's, um, it's one that I really, really do love. Number eight is Just Right. It stars Queen Latifah and Common, the rapper. Queen Latifah is a physiotherapist and Common is a basketball player. He's really famous, he, get in, he gets injured and then Queen Latifah ends up trying to rehab his injury and they fall in love. It is really good. Actually, it's probably not one that many people have seen or heard of, but it's definitely one that you should watch. The next one is Center Stage Turn It Up. It's not a sequel, but it's, it's the second installment to the Center Stage movies. It again, it stars Kenny Wormald from the Footloose remake and Rochelle Brooks Smith. She's not in very much, but she's really good in this. It's completely different from Center Stage. The only thing that is the same are there, there are two characters from the first one that appear in the second one. Other than that, it's a completely different movie. The dancing is awesome and this, the music is pretty good in it too. Um, it's about two ballet dancers who are trying to get into a really top ballet school and they end up falling in love. And they're both from completely different sides of the tracks. Number seven is Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. It's not exactly a remake of Dirty Dancing. It, it has Patrick Swayze in it, in parts of it, but it's not a remake. It's kind of its own version of it. It's really good. The dancing is awesome. It's based in Cuba. A, a really wealthy family from America moves to Cuba and the daughter of that family falls in love with um, the son of a poor family and it's kind of like a forbidden romance type thing. The dancing is amazing. The chemistry between the two actors are awesome and I can't pronounce their names so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Number six is Rent. Rent is kind of like a rock and roll musical. It's been on Broadway, it's really, really popular. The musical is amazing. If you ever get a chance to see it, I would. The movie is awesome. The actors that they got, um, one that you might know is Rosario Dawson. She's in it and she's amazing. The singing is awesome. The acting is amazing. And my favorite part is that it's three love stories in one. It's definitely worth watching. This one I would say is one of my favorite love stories of all time. Actually movies of all time. Okay, number five. I think I miscounted somewhere along there. Okay, this is number four. I think that I kind of miscounted, so I apologize. This is for sure number four. This is Untamed Heart with Christian Slater and Marissa Tomei. This is a really cool movie and I don't think it's very popular. This is um, from the 90s. Sorry, I had to, to peek there. It's about two people who work in a diner and Christian Slater has a crush on Marissa Tomei but she has no idea. And one night she's walking home from work and she gets into a life-threatening situation and he steps in to save her. It's a really good one and there's um, a couple of twists in there that are pretty cool. Um, number three 
This one is another one of my top movies of all time, I would have to say, is 10 Things I Hate About You with Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger. It's about two completely opposite people, a bad boy and kind of like a goody two-shoes kind of girl who end up falling in love. There's also um, actually two other love stories in it as well. And it's really good. Another one of my really top of all time, I think would have to be this one, number two, Walk to Remember. It has Mandy Moore and Shane West in it. Um, the soundtrack is really good. A lot of it is Mandy Moore's, are Mandy Moore's songs. It's about a preacher's daughter and kind of like a bad boy, popular guy that fall in love. And there's also um, a secret that Mandy Moore is keeping that you have to watch to find out what it is. And my number one, this is a movie that I've been watching since I was really little. It is, I would have to say, probably my favorite movie ever. It is Cutting Edge. And it stars D.B. Sweeney and, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, Myra Kelly. It's about a ex-hockey player and a figure skater who's looking for a partner. They both partner up and they end up getting into like the championships in figure skating and they fall in love. It is awesome. The skating is awesome. The soundtrack is really good. The love story is really sweet. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of them and it, you can tell it's, it's awesome. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you check those movies out cause they're really, really good and they're worth watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.